As we were riding up here, we were talking about first things first, lining up your putts. When you get to the golf course and when you're on your you know, 10 footers, 20 footers, are you using a line, are you not using a line? What's the process? Yeah, I mean, for me, I, I tend to use a line all the time. Um, you know, my balls, uh, I mark up with plenty of different colors, um, but I, I like to have the line. Um, I feel like it helps with them multiple things. It, it helps me start the ball line, helps me just see the read a little bit better. Um, so for me, I, I use the line 95% of the time. Uh, the only time that I probably wouldn't is um, sometimes when the greens are crazy fast and crazy slopey. So recently played a tournament where I felt that way and um, I felt like with, it, with having the line kind of locks me into a you know, uh, a start line, it locks me into a speed and you kind of lose that sense of touch and feel when putting and I feel like I'm very much a, a feel putter. Um, so I tended to move away from that last, well, the last tournament I played and um, just put the ball down with no intention of aiming it anywhere. Um, it gave me, you know, that allowed me the freedom then to, um, you know, use my feel and, and touch to basically read the greens and feel the speed of the putt that it needed and um, you know once I did that I, I hold plenty more putts and putts are better so yeah it was definitely a, a helpful thing. Nice. Now I don't use a line I'm a scratch golfer and I think it frees me up but the average golfer we know is about a 16 to 18 handicap so would you recommend doing that for most golfers? Yeah I, I think using a line is definitely beneficial. Um, I think the biggest thing for, for, for amateurs, in my, my opinion, that it helps is, is to start the ball online. You know, you, you play with a lot of, I play with a lot of amateurs in pro-ams and um, sometimes they pull putts, sometimes they push putts. Uh, I think having that start line lined up to where you think the ball is going to go is, is only going to help you. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure there's, there's research that's done that from, from my putting coach, Phil Kenyon, that basically suggests that too. So um, I think that's, you know, it's, it's a good tip to, to sort of help you with your start line. I'm not saying it's gonna miraculously change your putting, um, but I definitely think it's a, sort of a small bit of advice that will, will help you uh, in, in the short term. Yeah, and that is the biggest key, starting your ball on that right line. And uh, speaking of research too, working with Phil Kenyon, a lot of people know you putt with the pin in. So tell us the stats or the logic there. Yeah, What's unfortunately, thought? there's not much science behind it from <laughs> my side. Uh, I've read a few articles recently that's kind of shutting my science down. But uh, yeah, a few years ago, just was, was struggling with the putter, um, wasn't putting very well, and uh, we figured that like, you know, let's just try it with the pin in. Uh, all of a sudden, start putting better, and, and have done ever since. So. I think the biggest thing for me, well, my guess really from it is that um, it narrows your focus a little bit, particularly on the shallower putts. Um, I think when it comes to big break inputs, it's, it's very different anyway. You know, you, your focus is elsewhere and not the center of the hole, but I certainly think on, on shallower putts that are kind of inside the hole to, to maybe just outside, you've got a narrow focus. All of a sudden you see in the pin, which is dead center of the hole rather than the hole itself, which is obviously a little bit of a, of a, a wider tar target, and obviously, you know, they say aim small, miss small. So, sure, um, I definitely feel that that putting with the pin in has, has been beneficial. Okay, because I feel when you putt, and a lot of amateur golfers I speak to, they all ask me, why does Matt putt with the pin in? They feel like something's in the way. But I do love that idea, the fact that you get laser focused and your target is dead center of the cup, right? Yeah, I think that's a, I think that's definitely a, a, probably a subconscious thing. Um, I also think, you know, the speed that you actually have to hit the ball for it to hit the pin and come out, is terrible speed anyway. <laughs> um, I, I think what it does give you is is a little bit more freedom to hit it a little bit firmer, and I think it will help you. Um, I do believe that. Of course, if you're absolutely smashing the putt, then you know it's not going to be beneficial. But I, I definitely think that it, it kind of is literally a bit of a backstop as well. So I definitely think it helps.